Hey, Andrew here. Today we're gonna to be talking about adding more depth to your mix, and we're also gonna check out a new stereo pair of microphones that just came out that's under $800 and put them to use. But first, I was watching this documentary on how Michael Jackson's records were recorded with Bruce Swedeen, and this part really stuck out to me. As far as putting depth in the recording goes, I think probably one thing that helps there more than anything is the use of stereophonic microphone technique wherever possible. In other words, if you're recording acoustic guitar, don't just stick a microphone in front of it and make a mono image of that. Put two microphones, coincident pair, and really work on the sound. This is what makes left, right, and depth in a, in a music recording. Please don't be satisfied with a, a monophonic image. Uh, work towards achieving true stereo perspective in in a recording. This got me thinking how I will often opt to use one microphone instead of two when it comes to acoustic instruments like acoustic guitar or percussion or even like electric guitar amps. Now I don't necessarily think that means that the recording won't be good or that it won't be usable. In fact, I always like the sounds that I get. But this idea of achieving great depth in the mix really stuck with me because of a recent experience I had here recording in my home studio, which I'll tell you about here soon. So I thought it would be fun to record some things using some stereo mic placement here in the studio or recording some things just using a stereo pair of mics on them to try to achieve more depth in the actual recording. So I'm gonna use the stereo pair of microphones that Warm Audio just released. They are 414 EB recreations. The EB was an early 70s version of the 414, which had the same CK12 capsule as the famous C12 valve microphone. And that original 414EB sells used now for $4,000. And this new release from Warm Audio, which is a stereo set of recreations of them, goes for $749. So we'll try these on the recordings and see what you think. Let me know down in the comments. So we'll start with drums. What's cool is it actually comes with a stereo bar. And if you've ever looked at stereo bars, the options aren't super great. This is actually a fairly wide stereo bar. It's really well built. Very strong metal compared to some of the other ones that I've used. Uh, this is cool. I already have a stereo bar up here, so I'm just gonna use the one that's already up here. So we'll put the WA-14s up on overheads in a spaced pair stereo mic position. And then after we hear them on drum overheads, I wanna hear them on drum room mics and contrast the two. I always use stereo overheads and room mics, so let's see what they sound like. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna try these on room mics on drums because this is one of my favorite ways to add depth to my drum recording. You can see I have my drum kit over here, here kind of in this corner over the stairwell. And I have these placed this time in a coincident stereo sonic placement, which means these are at a 90 degree angle and they're both in bi-directional uh, polar patterns. So we'll try these on rooms in this placement see what we think let me know what you think down in the comments and then we'll move over to acoustic guitar and maybe do some electric guitar as well All right, now I'm gonna grab my acoustic guitar and we'll try these mics in a spaced pair on acoustic and we'll listen to the difference between just using one of them on acoustic versus using both of them in a stereo pair configuration and listen to the difference in depth between going one versus two. I wanna hear your thoughts on what you think about it. Obviously there's different use cases, but I think it'll be really interesting to hear it in this context.
All right, I honestly really love how the acoustic sounds with the stereo mic placement. There's a lot of clarity and depth. I mean, the imaging was great. There was some natural panning going on. All right, I'm really excited for this next example because this is something that I recently did here in the studio on a session that made the electric guitars sit perfectly in the mix. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use both WA-14 microphones, but I'm gonna put one close to the guitar amp, and then I'm gonna put the second WA-14 about 10 or 11 feet away from the amp, actually right here where I'm sitting. The close mic will be in cardioid, and the distant mic will be in a bi-directional polar pattern so that it's picking up the room sound, and I'm also putting the null point of the mic pointed at the guitar amp, so I'm getting indirect signal from the amp, mostly just the response of the room here. So I'm gonna grab my telly and we're gonna play through the Vox AC30 and see how the electric guitar sounds through these mics in this position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play both microphones together and then I'll solo each the close mic and the distant mic so that you can hear the difference between them and hear them together. Absolutely awesome. If you're looking to mix up your recording workflow and your sounds, adding a second microphone and experimenting with some stereo mic positions is a perfect way to go about doing it. Now, if you wanna check out these microphones, these are the WA-14s from Warm Audio. They're WA-14 SP, meaning you get a stereo pair of them. The total is 749 US dollars. I thought they sounded fantastic on drum room mics, but I was really impressed with how they sounded on the electric guitar. I'd love to hear what you like them on best down in the comments. Big thanks to Sweetwater for sending me these microphones to use in this video and for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check out these microphones or any of the other gear that I use, or you're just looking for some gear, check out Sweetwater.com for any of your gear questions or purchases. They do a fantastic job taking care of their customers and they actually are knowledgeable on the gear that they sell, which I think we can all appreciate. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll have a lot more videos like this coming in the future. I really appreciate each and every one of you for watching these videos and supporting the channel. It means a lot. I will see you in the next video.